yeah we're back again um so welcome back to our youtube channel um so today we're going to be talking about legal steps to rescue a healing business ever um established a company before with so much passion enthusiasm and wait to see the company succeed you know the first thing we we always advise people to do before venturing into any project into any business is to literally count the costs and, and by that we mean um draw up um, a business plan both short term and long term but unfortunately because of the um the the situation in the country and not just necessarily nigeria alone because of the the environment the business environment how easy it is to do business the taxes multiplicity of taxes low patronage because of the very little money in circulation and so many other factors you may find yourself failing unfortunately in the business you established with so much passion and you know when a business fails it sometimes um reduces your passion to try again all right well of course if a business fails you can always try again but some persons um almost always give up when a business fails so now we're going to be talking about steps to rescuing a failing business so now the business hasn't failed but it is tilting towards failure there are legal steps you can take to rescue that business now one of the major reasons a company will fail or a business a startup will fail is when its liabilities are more than its assets so what that means is what it is owing or what it is spending on is more than what comes in so for example as it is common with many startups many companies um, the founders or the CEOs may take up loans and facilities from banks and um, individuals even with the hope that the proceeds from the sale or the activities in their business could be used to repay the loan and the interest but it so happens that business becomes so bad and they're unable to meet up with the loan obligation they're unable to pay their debts so you start hearing issues of insolvency bankruptcy and all of that and when you start hearing things like that you're unable to pay your debt debt is more than liab um, asset liability more than asset it means your business is already failing so one thing you can do one of the legal steps you can take to rescue a business um, in that situation is what we call loan restructuring now loan restructuring basically means um fine it is admitted that you have a loan right um so but you can approach the company the bank or the individual that advanced that facility to you and then you decide on how to perhaps roll over whatever it is that you owe so for example let me make it very clear now you borrow 10 million naira to run a business or to start a business and the plan was to pay 500,000 naira on a monthly basis but business has been so bad so you're unable to meet up with a 500 naira monthly repayment so what do you do you approach the bank and ask for a loan restructuring and of course there's going to be a document to that effect which will be drafted between both parties and executed so what the company would now do is that instead of asking you to pay every month pay five hundred thousand naira every month that can be perhaps reduced to two hundred thousand naira every month then you'll be given a longer period but of course it will come at a fee so instead of repaying 10 million you may now repay 12 million but a longer period and a lesser amount to be repaid on a monthly basis so that gives your business some breath of fresh air and some sort of opportunity to use whatever funds comes in for further expansion and for some other activities so loan restructuring is one of the ways to legal ways to rescue a failing business another one is mergers okay so as a small company a startup or an institution at all you can merge with a company so we have the horizontal merger 
we have the vertical measure we have the conglomerate measure so if for example you are in the um let's say uh you produce biscuits all right you can merge with another company that produce biscuits or for example you produce biscuits you have another company that produces the sachet to package the biscuits you can merge with that company so that both of you can do business together so when both parties pull their strengths together the company becomes stronger all right sometimes the reason why we don't explore these options is because we are so obsessed with control. We don't want to bring in new people into the company. But research has shown that the biggest and the greatest, uh, most innovative businesses are businesses that have been able to accommodate different minds, different ideologies, different people, partnerships here and there. Okay? So a merger brings in two different companies, you know, and makes them one. It's either you now retain the identity of your own company you retain the identity of the other company or you or you bring up an entirely new identity and then with that you're able to scale all right even the economics of scale you know you're able to take advantage of so many opportunities that you don't have but that the other party you are merging with has all right so mergers is another very important legal step to rescue a failing business now, no matter how small the business is you may perhaps have a tech startup all right, you create an application, but you've been struggling to get funding. In another um, session, we're going to talk about funding. So, you can merge with another person who has what you don't have, all right? And then you grow the business together. So, it's going to be a win-win for both parties. If this video has been beneficial to you, just please subscribe, like, make a comment, ask your questions, and also share. So, loan restructuring is one. Mergers is another. Thank you. Thank you.